So whenever someone comes in and they say to me, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to feel, I always wanna make sure first that you get what I'm saying on paper. So does your brain understand what I'm saying? And I went over that with Drew, and he for sure understood what we're trying to do, right, on paper. So then if you don't understand the feels or you're not sure what to feel is what he said to me, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run you through certain positions or things we're doing and let you tell me the feel. So the reality is when someone tells me, like Drew tells me, that he doesn't know what to feel, he does know what to feel. You always know what to feel. I just want to pull that out and then kind of uh, demonstrate what you're, what you're, uh, what you are feeling already. I'm not going to put that feel in. I'm going to run you through things and ask you what you feel, and then based on me getting you where we want to go, position wise or movement wise, uh, you then tell me the feel that came from you. It'll be easier for you to feel that and trust that when you go on the golf course. So I'm just running him through some different. Um, feels for him to, to create his own feel. So that way when he goes on the course, he'll be confident with that and it'll produce the ball fight that we want. So show me that left arm feeling super vertical and then straight up. Yeah, good. Okay. So let's just, let's just, let's just look at that. Cause it feels like it should be okay, but you know, I just don't know, you know? Yeah. And that's okay. That's okay. But that's got to feel like it feels ridiculous. Way in like, front. So the thing is, like, even when I'm getting that vertical, like, mm -hmm. when I'm actually hitting the ball, I mean, obviously, you know, it's a little different because I'm not, like, really ready to hit, like, balls, balls yet. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? With this, but, like, it just feels like I can't hit a ball from there at all. You know what I mean? Like, it feels yeah, like I can't. It's interesting. I mean, obviously, I, I never know how, you, like, the brain is going to process it, yeah. but I really don't feel like this is that big of a change. Like, I really feel you should be able to hit it pretty good right away. So let's, so? Yeah, I do. Like, I do. So let's get through it. Yeah, I don't think this would be that big of a deal. So, like, let's do that again. I want to do it more, and I just want to present you a different option with it. So go halfway back. Good. And now from here, if you go even to here, where it doesn't have to go as, if you keep it more in front, yeah. okay, you don't have to go as high with it. It'll go high by itself. Okay. Okay. So if maybe if you change your focus from it going up, uh, which is what I'm feeling now, right, to going more, it's staying in front. Like it's not crossing this. So I should wall. feel like instead of up, I should be more like this and just feeling like that way. Yes. So it's that can not... be the same way to do the same thing. So I almost feel like then when I get back to here, Mm -hmm. I'm just keeping that club out to the hands and just letting those hands kind of go vertical. Is that sort of what it should be like? Mm -hmm. Okay. Left yeah. arm vertical, hands vertical. But like that club head feels way outside to me. But like it's relative. It's going to be on plane. Mm -hmm. like, but it's, it's It'll probably be slightly outside. Which I'm okay with. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Draw we need to have the butt of the club not get as deep. Yeah, that's, that's the, the Don't key. worry about the little parts of that. Yeah. Let's do that again. Okay. Because I feel like this is a little more like reliable than like using like just like that across my face. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it should be like this almost. Yeah. So if you keep this more here. Don't, you don't have to worry about the up part. Yeah. Meaning like it's not back. And then if I have one less thing to worry about, like as far as going up and then having that, like if I have one less thing to worry about, it simplifies the process for me a little That's bit. That's it. Which is like ideally yeah. what we, you know, we want to be efficient as possible. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Let's do it again. Just do a pose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Now do that one more time and then I'll show you what that looks like. I feel like that almost naturally helps me get those Get that hip and back like stacked, like I was easier to about. do that. I feel one? like it's almost that like naturally puts me in a position a little bit more. You yeah, know what I mean? cool. So, let's do it one more time. I'll give you some feedback with how that looks. Nope, do that again. A little deep. deep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Relax. So just to, just to scale that out, it's pretty much. Oh, that looks good. Front. Yeah. And this is what I'm saying. If you keep it more in front of you, it's going to be more vertical looking either way. Yeah. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. So a lot of that can happen by itself. Do that one more time. I definitely like this feeling better. I'm just like... Than the vertical? Yeah. Yeah. But like it was, I, I had no clue I was going too deep on that one that was too detailed. You know what I mean? It's like eventually yeah, I, I think I'll get used to that, but like it's still... I really don't think this should be that big of a deal. Yeah. Yeah, I really don't. I don't think it's like a big change. Yeah. Is that too deep? Yeah, just there. Right there's good. Okay, there's good. Mm -hmm. Hey, show me, show me too far in front of you. Why don't we, why don't we well, too go far that in front way? Of you would be like out of here. Yeah, show me one where you do that with this one. Okay, good. Do that again. Good, one more. I feel like I'm getting back on the thing. I remember last year, like when I was so far outside, I remember I had this. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, this. yeah don't get too far ahead of yourself. Good, go back. <laughs> now go too deep. Good, reset. Go too far in front of you. Good, reset. Too deep. Good. Now go right in the middle of the two. Good. 
That's what it should be. That's what it should be. Yeah. So, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, your brain being able to do both of those, then, is how you find middle grounds. Yep. So, what? do that again. So, even though like, it's part of my block, like, should I practice doing, like, out far outside and inside? Yeah, from that? a learning thing, it certainly wouldn't be a bad. Like, even at the beginning, I could try that, just, like, to see what Just happens. to find middles. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. So, show me too far in front again. Okay. So, what specifically are you feeling like you're doing to get it too far in front? Well, I mean, it just feels like the club head is going here, and like I feel like I'm putting it back in that camera, like like left of the track band somewhere. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm getting that club like out over here. Yeah. And it just feels like if I'm here, like all I would do, all I would be able to do from here is like a, like a huge slice, basically. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So like, so I, so so what you felt is that you're getting it more outside the track band, right? Yeah. Now that's a, a slight exaggeration, but then the answer to what you need to feel is that just do a little bit of a lesser degree. Yeah. That's the answer to your question. Okay. Right? Yeah. That makes sense? I just so, what it is. so do it again. So exaggerate it. But like a little bit less, obviously. No, no, go all in. Oh, you go want that whole, front. Okay. Yep. Good. Like that's, that's not even that exaggerated. That one, yeah. Right? 90 degrees down is kind of at your toes. Okay, wow. So if you did that same thing with a little more momentum, you're probably... Right there. You're probably there. So yeah? If I'm feeling that... Let's, let's make a swing with that.